Because we work with, uh, the less you say, the better training. I think that's what we should call it. I'm, I'm just realizing why that comes to people. And the, the trainers, I don't know if you're there, Sophia, but the ones in India, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. It's, it's awful. They stand right in front of the dog. I'm not going to do the dumbbells first. I'm going to do my sandbox. And they've got all the wrong body posture. I can only really imagine. It's really uh, and they're kind of leaning at the dog and then giving commands. It's, it's, it's awful. It's, it's awful. And they're all men. I don't see any women, and they don't really seem too evolved, and it's, it's painful. So remember, I've got my sound box. Whoops. So the, uh, the buzzing sound is the pager. There is a, a nick, but I'm probably not going to use the nick on the dog. You never know. I was just trying to already bring the towel. All right, so I want to get the collar on. And remember, this thing has a very short strap. It's very hard to get on. And we don't want a dog, if you said, you know, what do you see people at home? They start struggling with the dog to get the collar on. And honestly, that is a reflection of your relationship, you know. And Sophia, when you said, like, you have to call them over there in a stern voice and stuff, don't do that. It's better just to sidle up on them and get it on there. You're better to just sidle up and to try to say, get over here and get this on because they won't do it. Just get it on and make it as uneventful. And then just, I'm, I, I have a very deliberate... It, it sort of ends the sequence. I'm very deliberate just, you know, I'm not going to touch them. I understand now why they say don't touch them with your hands. Do all these things. I understand that now because people can't not do it. And it is, it is, it is a, a function of selfishness. I, I do understand that. It's them. They want to touch it. They want, you know, not that really we're fulfilling this animal's, you know, Need for love by touching it because they don't have that in their world. Oh, they touch each other all right. Not in a loving way. Okay, so I've got my pager. I want to be able to move the dog with the pager. So I can start getting her to leap off here, I bet. Fault down though. You can work on that. You can get the thing flying. And if it, you, I think once you decide you want one to fly, what you've got to be ready to do is look for it to occur organically, and then boom, 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 it wasn't doing that before. So if you said how small of a yay are you saying? Very small. Very, very small. So I'm going to do my pager. Oh, that was my jump. All right, Rex, so remember, this is the barrel horse turn. So now 
dog, the cutting horse turn. Here we go, here we go, cutting horse. So I gotta go right in front of the dog heel. So I, you know, to me with a dog like this, that's the easiest way to get it going faster. kind of keep it stabbed. She said, okay, as long as this hand's going like that, we're going to keep going. And now, boom, heel. So I got like three steps back right there. I want the dog to feel like, and that's what she feels like. I can move her. I'm moving her with the paper. That's what the buzz, buzz, buzz is. All right, so let's do the dumbbells, and I've got the, uh, I've got a water bottle in there, because, hello, Victoria. Okay, Victoria, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Let's try, I might have time to do that class this weekend, probably later today. I've got one dog getting dropped off, but then after that, it might start raining so I can rest. Anyway, but what I've got, and you can use water bottles. And the reason is, you want something that you're specifically using. So it's saying it's like a training exercise. We're not doing it with, I want you to think of it more like if you take the kid to soccer practice. They're not just kicking the ball around. And You know, there's more, it's more rules. Alright, but I'm, I'm specifically doing my hand like this to me. Oh, I'm gone. But now I'm in love with the basket. I want you to do yours close up though, but you're sort of adding the distance, but it's still not retrieving because I haven't thrown anything. I think that's what you have to think of. I know it's kind of far away, but don't use your footstool like that. I do think you should have as many props as possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to be looking that way. Very small. When she looked back, I had a very dead painted face. The crucial part is not to say anything. If I was to accept that stick as a gift, I'd be screwed. I'd be accepting every stick 
And I kind of think that's why you can't do it with it. And I kind of think you've got to do it that for whatever reason you've given these objects value as opposed to that. And that's why I tell people, don't pick up a stick. I'm just going to try dumping them out of the basket. You know, don't pick up a stick. Don't do all those things because it's too random. So she gets them now that they're not in the basket. Then what I can tell you, Breck, we can put any of your things that you don't want her getting in a basket. I'll tell you what happens then. I start blocking her on Facebook. If you said, what does that mean? I don't look at them. And I think you've got to install that too. <laughs> I'm not picking anything up. And again, if you said, well, it's just a, it's just a role. You've been cast in a play, and in the play, your character cares only for the golden objects. Cares only for the golden objects. Took an instant turn for the. Oh, it went all the way over there. Yay! Again, I'm, I'm staying in character. I'm staying in character, and I'm only looking really at the object. If the two may marry up, then okay. So it's kind of just a drill, and it's more of a thinking game. I want you to think of that. If you're, if you're winding up and throwing the toy and getting that dynamic going, it, it really is less of a thinking game, you know. So this, there's, they've got to think. And, you know, what the main goal of it, honestly, is to get them to think, I care where this person's looking, you know, because that just feeds the big picture you know, of the Billy Joe Armstrong thing. But they don't care where you're looking. Well, I can tell you what that means. They don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? That means they don't care. You know, because if you said, you know, what are those people looking at? I don't care. You know, I don't have any interest. You know, so that's what you've got to think of. So try getting, you know, these kind of water bottles, just because you can have several of them that are the same. And then you can just put them up. If you can't, I forget where you live, girl. Remind me where you live. Uh, but you should have just order these online. Get the small ones like this. Don't get the big ones. If you have the big dogs, you're better off just, you know, start out. She's probably looking for more now. If I would have taken that stick, though, I would have been in trouble. She would have been bringing me every stick. All right, yes, like that. 